Today I'd like to show you how to add a bottom to a curved and twisted stair. Uh, this is a second way of doing it. I've got a video out there that shows you how, but this might even be simpler. Okay, first of all I start with a fairly simple spreadsheet. The, the items in dark red here, bold, are the items that go into the, that make the, up the stair. The key but bits here, so the inside segments and the outside segments must be the same for all the math to line, uh, for all the segments to line up correctly for the perfect geometry. And for the path that we're going to use for the bottom of the stair, we want to have it extend past so that it uh, can complete. So what we do there is we just say, well, all right, Let's extend like like extending a stair by a couple risers, and we extend the rise. Um, so therefore, the total degrees are going to increase. Uh, this one here uh, is essentially eight and a quarter degrees uh, times thirteen treads, and this one is eight and a quarter degrees times fifteen treads. The 1752 here is simply, in this case, because both stringers are the same thickness, um, this is uh, the center line between, um, and, or at the, it's the radius at the center of the stair. Okay, so let's, let's, let's put the stair together. So as you can see, all the parts here are correct. Um, the total rise is uh, correct. The number of risers is correct, 14. The uh, inside radius is 1252. Uh, the number of segments are four for both. And um, the degrees here uh, is 107.25. Okay, build the stair. I'm gonna turn off the risers and the treads just to make it easier to look at. Um, one thing I did miss here are the arcs segments and that is simply the uh, number of treads times the segments. So we want 60 and uh, yeah that's good enough. So let's start off by putting in a um, by putting in a uh, construction point and it'll be at the center of the stair so that's 1752 now we're going to make an arc so we're going to draw an arc now the first thing to note is uh, yes the radius is at 1752 but we want to have 60 segments like we just calculated out. Okay, 60S. Hit enter. And we want the stair to be 123.75 degrees. I'm going to type that in. You can see at the bottom of the right hand corner 123.75 is typed in hit enter and we have our um, uh, an arc okay now what we're going to do next is we're going to pick that arc and we're going to also go into the 2d we use this to generate a path um, so the total rise is 30 40 which is what this is, 16 risers, which is what this is, and the rest of it isn't important for generating a path. So that's good. Now we're going to hit stair rail path, and as you can see, we've now generated this. All we've done is uh, uh, basically taken each point and raised it up a, a certain amount based on the total rise, so we have this unit this this uh, stretched um, path now we're going to explode it and we're going to make the bottom 
okay we don't need this anymore and we don't need this anymore so we're just going to use this and whoops go into here and put it on the bottom okay it's done now that we've done that I'm going to I think I hit it one too many times we're going to redo it all right bottom okay and there's our bottom now we're going to move it into place so I'm just going to select these two items and I'm going to hit the M for the move key and I'm going to grab anywhere and uh, hit the up arrow to uh, to constrain it now it's going to be moved in the proper way and we're just going to drop it into here done we now have a bottom so what I want to do I so I'm going to add in a new layer called bottom and I'm going to uh, put now this bottom into the bottom because it was a handrail so that's not very good and I'll take all the geometry and put it into layer zero now I can turn off the handrails and the bottom will stay um, let's now trim the the, the new bottom okay um, let's trim it and then clean it up the geometry is going to be not perfect but it's close enough so I'm going to start by creating a little cutter and I want to bring it a little bit past this way okay now that we've got a cutter there uh, let's triple click on it and turn it into a group pick the other the bottom so we've picked the cutter first then the bottom it has to be in that order and we're going to go to solid tools and subtract and we've removed that part we can do the same thing up here pick anywhere on here that's good enough um, push pull it up grab the piece pull it in triple click make group and now pick the bottom again and tools solid tools subtract okay now we'll notice that it looks a little funny that's just because of the triangle that are built um, as we created the bottom so let's take a look and turn on hidden geometry and we can see this so this line in here this one and this one we're going to delete we're going to turn off the stringers for now and we're going to complete this and the same on the back side okay um, we'll clean we'll get rid of that solid line in a minute we're gonna come down here have to do have to clean up this as well so we're just going to get rid of this this and this and then we're going to uh, put in a new one and do the same now this one doesn't have much but it's still there
and finally okay that's cleaned up now what we want to do is one more thing we want to uh, go on to the soften and just change this and turn off the hidden geometry Oh. Okay, there we go. I think it stairs upside down. Turn all the pieces on. Rotate it into position. We now have a stair with a bottom. Thank you very much for watching. Um, talk to you later.